Hey! How's it going, guys? It is Devs Boo. And today we are back with the Star Helix. This is a assault rifle. It's made by Dow. The model, again, Star Helix. The rarity, legendary, of course. That's why you're watching it on the legendary weapon guide. <laughs> and with the Star Helix, it can be attained from any suitable loot source, just like with most of the legendary weapons. But it has a chance to drop from the power troopers located in the Atlas HQ in Promethea. What is important to know is that while the power troopers are in a kind of off location, they're not hard to get to. You can actually do it super fast, but I'll get into more that I'll get more into that later in the video. And with the Star Helix, it's sort of like the AR version of the Borderlands 2 shotgun called the Interfacer, which had a similar effect of when you fired it. Two bo two projectiles went off on the sides and then intertwined. It's and sort of like that. The elements elemental drops for the gun is none at all shock cryo and radiation here i'm showing you the none at all and the cryo and the power troopers are based off of the power rangers so you'll have different colors you'll have the names will be different colors they they're not going to be like that different um the special effect of the weapon is that when you fire it, it creates a helix effect. And again, the red text is the stars are better off without us. It's by collaborators Daniel Abraham and Ty Frank, authors of the science fiction series The Expanse. The name Star Helix is also a reference to the Star Helix Security, a private security firm that exists within the show's universe. Alright, and so, uh, to start off with the gun, the I actually Helix did get two for this video. I had, I actually got them both at the same time. It's from the same little group of minions. So it worked out nicely. Before this though, I actually had one, but it was about 15 so well levels lower. It now. still held up. It obviously wasn't the best, but What's it did held up. Back to and video. so, I have one that is a Arctic or not arctic, uh, cryo elemental effect, and then I have one that is just non-elemental. The non-elemental one is the Disciplined Star Helix, and you can see in the damage it has the times three. But again, even though it does only fire one bullet per shot, it does shoot at the three projectiles. The accuracy is pretty decent. Handling is 59% reload time, also pretty fast, 2.4 seconds. The fire rate is 7.68 over S second. And the magazine size, from what I have seen, will always be 24. Uh, the anointment on this particular gun is actually for the Beastmaster. Uh, it's the enemies are damaged by the rack attack. Take 100, sorry, enemies damaged by rack attack. Take 100% increased damage for a short time. But that is for the disciplined one. I also have the Arctic Star Helix where you can see the damage is about 700 less, but it has the cryo elemental, so that's why it does end up being less. The accuracy on this one is actually a little bit higher. Handling 75%, reload time is 2.4S, fire rate 7.68S, and again, same magazine size of 24. Uh, these are Mayhem level four. I was not able to get the drop from the base non mayhem mode. I don't believe you have to be on mayhem mode for the gun. I want to throw that out there. If I do happen to uh, come across information that says otherwise, I will definitely let you guys know. But at the current moment, you don't have to be on mayhem level 4. And the annoyment on this one, on the Arctic Star Helix, is elemental critical hits can cause status effects of that element to explode. Creating a Nova that deals 500% of 
and the status effects damage. Kind of cool. Cryo doesn't really do damage. It can make enemies take a lot more damage from melee, but it slows them down, so it's not the most ideal. But what can you do, right? It's again, it's not the worst, not the best. And again, uh, the Ardell weapons. I don't know if I said that yet. So it is a dial weapon. We are going to be looking at the cryo version of the gun. So it'll be different than the base, or the non-elemental affected one. Which is why you can see uh, the different stats with like the shields and the health, yada yada. Um, on this particular gun, there is no body part attribute. There is a body accessory that reduces the accuracy, or makes it improves it, I guess is the right word. Uh, the barrel um, gave us the plus 50% damage. The bolt, the plus 10% fire rate. The foregrip with the weapon sway reduced by 30. The accuracy bloom reduced by 30. However, it does also increase the weapon sway of 30, thus canceling it out basically. The recoil height is reduced by 15. Accuracy is again reduced by 20. And then for the magazine, there's a damage boost of 10, and it is a made 24 mag round gun. There's a fire selector where you can choose between um, fully automatic and burst, semi, I guess is the right word. And because we have the cryo one right here, it does have the converts to cryo element. So I'm not great with photo mode, but I do want to show you how the helix looks. And so you can see here, there's the base bullet in the middle, and then you have the two projectiles on the left and right side, and they basically they intertwine, creating almost like a, a DNA looking type effect. They're pretty good, it's pretty strong, and so I will definitely be able to show this in a little bit, but when you fire it, it shoots you three bullets for the price of one ammo. You have your bullet that fires just straight out in the middle, and then you have two on the one on the left side, one on the right side, and they basically like crisscross, creating a helix effect. And so depending on if you're able to properly know the distance of the gun, it'll definitely take some time. You can definitely get like a triple crit from the weapon. Constantly. It again it will take a little bit of time, but can be done. You can see the spots where they do intertwine. If you are able to properly keep that distance in mind, you'll be able to land all three projectiles on a target at one time, which will be very helpful. And so, to find the power troopers, I know I briefly went over it, but you have to go to Promethea. And then from there, you go to the Atlas HQ, and then from there, you just follow along the slump path. It's quite the distance, especially if you have to run it and then run back and then quit and save to reload it up. And that's all you gotta get to. And so you just have to run up there. You don't have to fight any enemies along the way so it will make the time shorter. Or you could take this pathway. Super simple, you just jump up on the hedge and aim for that particular ledge right there. You'll have to press the button to mount and then you could just hop up and it saves you a bunch of time. The power troopers will spawn from the top of this building right here. It does take a moment for them to spawn in, so don't get too too worried. And as you can see right there, there's the blue power trooper, there's the yellow one right by them, there's a red power trooper, there's also a black power trooper, and I believe there's one more. I think there was five, but I'm only seeing four here, so oh no, there is pink. There we go. I knew it was right. What up? And so they can be a little bit overwhelming depending on your build, depending on how far you are, depending on what you do. Or they could be super simple. Again, it, it totally depends on how uh, your setup is made. For me, I think I, it's just some of the other effects of the Mayhem 4 that really got me. But I think I ended up dying a couple of times fighting them. But in my defense too, I also used the Helix, and originally mine was like 15 levels lower, so I 
just so that you guys are aware, in case you're looking to see me get the drops, I didn't actually get any drops from the two times that I fight them. Uh, I didn't get any of the drops from the two times that I fight them here in the video, but in total I fought them four times. The first time I got nothing, second time I bumped up the Mayhem to Mayhem 4, and then I got the Arctic and the non-elemental Star Helix. I got them from the same little group of enemies here. I'm not sure which one dropped which, just that I did get them. So I can't tell you the specific drop rates. I do know that it is kind of low, but again, at the same time, you know, I did get two in one go. So it shouldn't take you too long. I, on average, I guess that rounds out to be about 50% of the time. It depends on how you look at it. That did it four times, but I got two guns, right? Or you could look at it as quarter percent of the time where I did get the two guns, but it's from one uh, little run through. So, depends if you want to be optimistic. I'm optimistic 50% of the time. And yeah, that's it. That's the gun, guys. That is the Star Helix. It had just gotten a recent buff from the last hotfix. And so it does do a lot more damage. It's a really strong gun, and I'm, again, I'm using it on Mayhem 4, and I was able to properly like, use it and get going. So I, I highly recommend the gun. I do really, really enjoy it. It's nice to be able to use some of these guns that I never really tried before. And just so that you are aware, in case you are going to try and farm it, I was a bit mistaken, sort of. Uh, the drop rate for the Star Helix is about 2.5% per Power Trooper. And with five power troopers, give or take, per run. That gives you. I'm trying to do the math. That doesn't give you the best odds of getting the gun. But it's not a super hard thing to farm. It's right there. And plus, if you um, bump up the mayhem, you have a better chance. If you increase your chance of getting luck drops with the, the guardian points. That helps as well, and thanks to the hotfix that happened on August 20th, the gun damage was increased by 76%. 76%, that's bonk. Never got to use before, but thanks to the hotfix, now we can. Anyways guys, Dev's booth, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, it's been good, and I'll catch you next time.